Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your Delightful Crafter. Um, it's been a while, but I have a small honeybee stamps haul to share with you guys today. Um, I meant to get this up earlier, but it just didn't work out. I've been working around the house, um, all the, you know, the fun stuff. Washing the bedding and all, you know, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. Um, oh, and my oven blew up today. We'll get into that towards the end. Anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, yeah. Um, I got it, you know, I got a wild hair and I'm like, oh, I'm going to make some brownies today. You know, so I start whipping everything up and I'm like, oh, you know, check what I got to set the oven to. Turn the oven on and I get going. I start hearing these weird noises. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's something in, because I was listening to the stereo. And then I looked around and I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't turn the light on in my oven. And I opened it up. And the entire oven element was on fire. So, um... Yeah, so I don't have an oven right now. <laughs> I do have, we do have like one of those small, um, uh, I don't want to say conventional, like, the, you know, the air, we have an air fryer oven that, you know, um, goes on our counter. And I was able, so the, the batter didn't go to waste, but they're more cakey than they are brownie now, but hey, anyway, somebody, my husband will eat them. He doesn't get <laughs> Anywho, we're here for Honey Bee Stamps. Um, oh, gotta hide her. It's not a big order at all. Uh, I'll put that there for the trash. Tomorrow's trash day. So, I've already taken, oh, excuse me, a sneak peek. I'm gonna take her off. She is my freebie. And I want to hide her because she's cute. And, oh, did we get everything out of there? Yep, yeah, stick that in the garbage stash too. So, here is the cute little um, thank you card. And appropriately, it matches basically what I bought um, in this order. Um, most of the Honey Bee I have what I want so far. Um, there are some embellishments, there might be a couple of stamps, but I think I pretty much have everything I want, but I saw this and I was like, you know, excuse me, I have lots of friends who love bees and so I snatched it up and this actually matches the stamp set. So, um, the sets that I got... So, with Honey Bee, if you spend $75 more, you get a freebie. And so that is what this little cutie is. Um, it's called Be Young, and it's called Banner Day. And so you did it. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you, and hooray. And I just thought, you know, she's she's she is that one. I, I'm always talking about cutesy. Um, I would not buy her. But she, I do, since I have her, I will use her. But she's not, she's like along that cutesy line that I, I wouldn't go buy on my own. But, I mean, that's a pretty awesome uh, freebie. Because that's a, that's probably what, a 3x3? Three three? It's probably a 3x3 three three stamp set. So, um, I'm really excited about it. I'll use it. I'll actually use that. So, thank you, Honey Bee Stamps. Uh, the next thing that I picked up, um, I'm always on the hunt for a good alcohol marker or ink, and honestly, I haven't heard any reviews about this, but I thought I would give it a try, but it is the Be Creative Intense Black Alcohol Friendly, or Alcohol Marker Friendly, and, um... It is not, so that means it is not going to be, um, it, it's not going to work with watercolor. 
So alcohol marker and solvent friendly. So um, it's not going to work for, you know, like if you're doing watercolor. So I wouldn't use this. Um, and if I like it, I'm going to order the little refill bottle to go with it. Um, I got that and that was, uh, well, the prices aren't on here. My bad. Sorry. So I got that. I'll give that a try. And then I saw this cute little uh, pouch and I snagged that. And then they had the uh, little honeybee pen. I love writing utensils like there's like, you've, you've, no, you've no idea. I love, love, love pens. And, um, oh, I can fix her. Eh, or not. <laughs> I just totally killed it. My bad. Oh, well. It was a cute little baggie. Anywho, so I got the a little pen. Just, you know, just any... Oh, it's even got a little protector on it. We're going to check it out and see how she writes. Well, get her going. So she writes all right. Uh, not, I mean, it, it, it's not anything special. It's just, you know, it's cute. And it's got their Be Creative... Um, logo on it. Uh, so there are those little treasures. Now on to the whole reason for the order. This is called Just B, as in B-E, cuz. And I told you, it, it does match. Um, if you're new to crafting and you're not familiar with masking, this here is, is ma there's masking in this. So basically you're going to stamp the, basically you start with stamping the images that are in front. And so with this, it's going to be this flower and then the, uh, the cover to your honey pot if you're not wanting to put the lid on. And then what you do is you stamp it again on some uh, repositionable paper, or I call it masking tape, or masking paper, whatever you want to call it. And then you trim it out exactly to the edge. Then, and you do the same thing with the flower, and then you stamp the honey pot. And the honey pot, um, once you pull up these masks, will look like this and then you would do a little masking with the honey pot to get this leaf over here on the side so and everything in here um everything that's on here is in here except for these cute little bees i want these darn little bee stamps uh but a day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey left inside winnie the pooh i love winnie the pooh i'll have to tell you the winnie pooh the winnie the pooh story when i was little my mom, <laughs> my mom was so terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell it to you another time. But yeah, my mom will never let me live it down. Um, just be, cause, B-E-E, -E, busy, happy, be day. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. Hey, honey, don't worry, be happy. You are sweet as honey, and then uh, let it, and then we have queen, and then we have a bee. Um, I mean, these are nice bees, but honestly, I would prefer to have little cutesy bees like these, or like these guys. Uh, then you have the honey pot lid. You have different dripping honey images here. You have the little honey pot spoon, and um, this image here is... Uh, basically this right here you see it little tie in the tie in the um, cloth on top so um, I was really I, I debated on this one for quite some time so I got that of course y'all know me um, I snagged up the die set and so everything in here that I can see has a die all of it I think that is pretty fantastic. Um, trying to figure out what this one is, though. I can't figure that out. Maybe it's kind. That's what it is. It's kind. 
So got the die set to go with that. And then, and I didn't get everything in the collection because this collection is really big. Um, it has also the stencils. So you can do different types of shading, um, you know, cover different parts of the image and do shade work with it. Um, there's, there's two stencils in here. And so there's even a stencil right here for the, I think it's like a cheesecloth. I think when you cover honey pots, it's, um, I think it's a special type of cloth that you cover it with. I'm not positive, but you have, uh, the main one here. And then you even have the, the sides that get the little stitch side to it. Um, you even have the different layers for the honey spoon, different layers for the flowers and the leaves and different, um, you even have shading for the different honey drips. So I think this is pretty fantastic. And you have this, this is like a shading uh, stencil here so that you can make the, kind of make it look like the honey pot has either a shine or like a darker spot, however you want it to be. Uh, I think that is pretty fantastic. And you got different, you've got the different, um, this one, you can go just underneath the lip of the honey pot and, you know, just really great stencils for this set. So I am really happy that I broke down and got this. Um, I do have, I, I was almost going to combine this and I decided not to. Um, part of my graphic 45 order got here, guys. It's the stuff that I got from scrapbook.com. I can't believe how quickly it got here. And I am beyond excited about it. Um, my kit that I ordered. So what, so what, what that video is going to be is it is, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Hold on. Do, 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 do. I know my friend Ashley from Artsy Ashley is probably good. Well, she loves nautical, but she's more beachy nautical. This is kind of, this is nautical, but it's more like, I'm going to say fishing village nautical. But guys, it's catch of the day. And um, I ordered, I went to scrapbook.com because with Graphic 45, when it comes to Graphic 45, those have been around since the beginning and know my love and I'm sure are shocked that I haven't shared any in quite some time. Um, and as much as I adore Graphic 45 and Authentique, they also put out a lot that is not my cup of tea. And... Um, It's, it's been a while. Now there is, there is another collection that I'm hunting and I didn't want to get it from Graphic 45 because you pay retail at their website, but they also have the best, um, kits like project kits. And I ordered the project kit for catch of the day, but I wanted more, I wanted, uh, another, you know, 12 by 12 of the, uh, patterns and solids and of the main kit of the main pad. So I actually went and got that from scrapbook.com. Again, I'm still waiting for my kit to ship from graphic 45, but I also ordered with that kit. I ordered, um, give me a second and I'll tell ya. Where's my or it's not in there, it just shows my account. Hmm. Let's see if I have to log in and tell you what how oh, I do, don't I? Hold on. I'm gonna tell you what I ordered from there because I'm really excited about it. Probably shouldn't be doing that because you Okay. Um, orders. Let me tell you what I got. 
I got the Christmas time. Most of it was sold out. I'm late to the game on this. But I ordered the Christmas time 12 by 12 the chipboard, the stickers, the die cut assortment, and the ephemera. The patterns and solids was already sold out, so I'm going to have to go find that somewhere else. Um, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper collection. And so I'm probably going to check. And the only reason why I ordered all those is they were on, they were on clearance, so they're not going to be around much longer. We're coming up on July, and that's July is when people start launching all this year's Christmas stuff. So, but this is one of those collections that just, it screams my Christmas style, if that makes sense. So, I can't wait for, I, I was going to wait for all of it to get here and show you. But like I said, I, um, it hasn't shipped, so I don't know how long it's going to take. So, tomorrow's video might be the graphic 45 that I got from scrapbook.com and I can't it's it's even more wonderful in person so I can't wait for the kit to get here um I have thought about joining the graphic 45 like monthly kits but like I said um I don't like them every month so I don't want all of the kits and and their kits start at 50 bucks so like the kit kits. So then they, they have, they also have, um, they have a, a card club kit that's, that's $30. So, I mean that, you know, that there's, it's expensive too. Um, but I'm going to do the basic, this one's volume five, uh, for this year. And, um, yeah. I'm really wishing that I had gotten the one for um, Ocean Blue. That's the other collection. And I, I've i been so busy, I've totally missed out on it. And I'm bummed about that. But, you know, it is what it is. And um, I tried to get the 12 by 12 but it was already... Oh, it is there. Hmm... I uh, might have to place an order. We'll see. But anywho, I have run my mouth long enough. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a video this Friday. Because remember, my sister will be rolling in. And she wants to go to card club. And Friday night is card club night. So we'll be off doing that. And um, yeah. Anywho, y'all have a great night. Love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.